Welcome back to my uh, channel data BI SQL. So uh, in, in today's video, right, I'll, I'll continue with uh, the series of Amazon SQL interview questions. Uh, and today is the part 14 of the series. So I have already made around 13 uh, parts of the series. So uh, I'll add this particular video in the um, uh, in, in the playlist related to Amazon SQL interview questions. So this, this will be the part 14. If you have not already seen my other uh, part 13s, uh, I definitely encourage you to go and look at that. There are various concepts covered in those videos uh, along with the data examples. Uh, so uh, we'll continue with the series. Uh, and then uh, this one, this, this video is also very important. I would say, you know, and these kind of questions are mostly asked, I would say, you know, these, these are the questions which are definitely asked. There is a high probability, I would say 70 to 80% probability that these kind of questions will be asked. So uh, let's just go through, go through uh, the couple of questions uh, 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 today. Before I start, right, I mean, I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, like my videos. That's going to give me a lot of encouragement uh, to uh, prepare more of this kind of content. So let's get started. So uh, I and, and one other thing like, you know, I'm going to put the create table script and uh, 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 create table script and also the insert into script uh, in, in the comment section of this of this video uh, so that, you know, you can you can recreate it from your side and, and, and you can play around with the data. You can play around with the query and you can build the own query and you can build the same query as I'm building. So that gives you a lot of practice. So uh, one other thing. Uh, so. Okay, let's go ahead. So in this video, we'll, we'll be covering two tables. So one table is cust underscore dim table, which basically we covered in the part 13. Uh, uh, so I'll just, I'll just run the query for this uh, also so that you know what the data is in case you have not seen the 13 part 13. Uh, but we, uh, we have a new table order underscore fact in this video. Uh, so uh, I'm, I, I'm going to share this create table and insert table uh, scripts. Uh, in, in the comment section. So you can just directly copy paste and run it on the PostgreSQL. Uh, and then that table will be created and then you'll have the date, same data as I'm showing also. So let's go through it. So there are two tables. Okay. So first table is customer underscore customer underscore dim table. Pretty simple, right? I mean, you have customer ID, you have a name of the customer, birth date, or item purchase date, item spend amount, city, state, and the country. Okay. Uh, in the order fact table, uh, you have customer ID, order ID, right? So for each order ID, who was the customer, right? So obviously one order is placed by only one customer. So it's one to one relationship. And then you have the order date when the order was placed and you have order type. So type is basically the order was placed through web. It was placed through mobile or it was placed through the customer service, right? I mean, what was the channel basically for that order? So as you can see here, uh, there are orders which are basically same order is placed by, uh, by you know, uh, I mean, different order is placed by uh, same customer that is possible, right? So it's basically one to many relationship, right? I mean, one customer can order as many uh, items as they want and, and as many orders they, as they want, right? So if you see here, uh, there is one customer, one, two, three customer who have like more than one orders, right? So eight, nine, ten, okay? And uh, when we look at the table structure, right, it's pretty clear that you can join the customer dim table uh, with order underscore fact table using customer underscore ID, right? That's a unique column between, uh, not unique column as in, you know, that's a column uh, where the join can happen between two tables, right? So it's pretty clear from these two table structures. All right. So first question is, which customers in Texas have made made a purchase, right? I mean, so uh, which customers uh, in Texas have never made a purchase? Sorry about that. So what they are saying is, there are customers which are basically in Texas. Find out those customers which have never made a purchase, right? So basically what they're saying is, so you have, you see here, how many customers are there in Texas? There are two, one customer three and customer five. So what they're saying is, which customers in Texas have never made a purchase, right? So what does, what do they mean by that? What do they mean by that is basically, do you see any orders for those customers that are living in Texas? So if you go through here in this one, so you can see that three and five are there, right? So three, oh, three has made an order, right? And through web, but you see five here. No, you don't see five here. So that means they are looking for the customer number five, right? Who, ha who is existing in the customer table, but who has never made a purchase, right? Uh, uh, and, and we want to put only Texas, right? So 
So what clicks in your mind? The, the first thing that should click in your mind is basically the state is Texas is where the filter, right? Because they are asking for only Texas people. So that's why you should have that in a in a end clause, okay? And then, so 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 the query is, is kind of look like is basically, so we are going to use subquery, right? So first of all, what they're asking for, which customers, right? So where the customer is there, uh, name, name of the customer is there in the customer name, right? So we'll say customer underscore ID, full name, from customer dim where c underscore cust id not in right because see when you run this query what will happen is it will select all the customers which exist in the uh, fact table right order fact table right because that's what they want right they are saying that find out those customers who never have made a purchase so if you want to find that out you have to first get the customer id from the fact table right so if you see here five is not there right five is not there nine is also not there but nine doesn't belong to texas Right, so that's why our answer should be five. So, uh, and I think nine is belonging to Canada or France or you know uh, we can see that, but it is not belonging to Texas, right? So, it, so we it will not come up in the query. So, what you are saying is find out a customer from customer dimension, which does not exist in the order fact, and state is equal to Texas. Now, just be careful here, right? I mean, when you are doing this. Just make sure that you know you are putting this out of the bracket, right? And it's not going to work here because anyhow that state is not there, so it's going to give you a, give you a, a query error, right, in the order fact table. But just to make sure that you know with you have after where you have the sub query and then you put this condition, right, and state is equal to access. Because sometimes what happens is when you are writing the query, never mind a purchase, you forget to put a state, uh, you forget to put, uh, uh, put a state customer, or the state is equal to Texas, right? And that is also being asked. So basically two conditions are asked here. The, uh, uh, the state is Texas, and then we have never made a purchase, right? So let's just run, run the query. That should give you the correct answer, right? So customer five and Susan Holmes is the customer who is living in Texas, but has never made a purchase. Right. So this is pretty common, actually. Right. I mean, if you see uh, it, it is it is basically a subquery concept and uh, uh, basically join between two tables. You can say it's not exact join, but that's what you know, we, uh, you have to query another table to find out the matching record. Right. So uh, this this is pretty common in the first round of the interview, right? And evaluation in the data engineer interview or uh, BI engineer interview or even senior BI and senior data engineer interview, uh, these kind of questions can be asked in the in the first in the first round. So this is basically, I would say, basic to advanced level. I would not call this advanced. It's basic to intermediate level question, right? Uh, but it is it it covers the concept of swap query and not in clause and things like that, right? So it is pretty important. This is a probability like 70, 80 percent of time this kind of concept will be covered, right? Okay. Well, let's move on to the second uh, part of it okay the second question so the second question is display the total count of customers and their total item spend amount okay by country who made their purchase through web and customer service okay so if you see this is again a classic example of something that we covered in part 13 of uh, series also right part 13 of this series the previous video where there are multiple conditions given so initially when you see the question right it it's it it looks to you like a little tough okay but like i mentioned in the part 13 also uh, you need to break down the question okay like that that will make it very easy for you that will make the life very easy right i mean what are what are they asking in the select clause what are they asking in the filtering condition are they asking any aggregation right so total item spend amount right count of customer so what does that tell you aggregation right so are they asking any aggregation yes in this case count and and some right are they asking any group so obviously when they are asking for the count and 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 the and the, and the sum definitely should click that it's a group by clause will come right because you have to use so so what are they asking for group grouping by right they they have to ask right that group by this so in this case by country right so what are they asking they are asking you to group by country right and then they are asking then then there is a filter condition right may purchase through web and customer service right so like we saw in the order fact table there is a there is a channel right by which customer order so they are saying web and customer service so they, if you remember if you see the query uh, uh, of the order fact right uh, it has three channels right mobile web 
and customer service right so definitely they are now asking you to take a mobile they are asking you to do only customer service and web right so let's just gather this query thing right i mean you know that let's just try and structure this query so they are saying total count of customers so where does customer reside you have customers uh, in order fact table as well as the customer table but since they are asking by country also you can get the customer from the customer table right so customer is then customer table their total item spend amount item spend amount where it is is it there in customer dim total item spend amount yeah so is there in customer dim so that's also going to come out of the customer dim by country country is also in customer dim through web and customer service so web and customer service where is it it is in the order fact right the the channel it was in the order fact right so what does that mean if you have to get to the web and mobile web and customer service you have to join correct because otherwise how are you going to get the channel right i mean order type so basically uh, that's where you have to join between two tables so if you have to join between two tables what's the common id customer id right so that should be the that should click in your mind so what we can do is first first you can see that customer team and order fact you can join using customer id and then since they ask for filter condition immediately put the filter condition right and order type in web and customer service they they ask two right so you need to use in clause right if they have said only web then is equal to will work but when they are saying more than one you need to use the in clause right so that's where you will put a filter okay now they ask for the count for the customer uh, count of customers and their total spend by country right so here what you will do you will put c dot country because they are asking you to group by country and then you will see count of customer id right that's what they are saying total count of customers and their total item spend so total item spend and count of customer you have to uh, uh, do a count of customer they ask for it and then you have to sum of the item spend right because if you see uh, you know the item spend uh, you need to sum up the whole amount right i mean you know uh, uh, they are because it's it's not it's remember it's not grouping by customer it is grouping by country so in one country you have multiple customers right so if you see if you go and see customer dimension you have if then they ask for group by us all these people will come right because they are asking by us as a country group by right so this it it has to sum up all these things right and then uh, it uh, if canada is there you need to sum up these two records us is there uh, uh, it has to sum up these two and the other records and the france it is only one record so only one will come okay so uh, let's run the query right i mean so uh, the count we got we got total spend amount also and then we need to group by country right because we are using count and sum two functions right so we need to use group by along with that so group by c dot country right so when you do that let's see what's the answer the answer is france one right uh, is yeah it was only one customer in france right so 1400 us is 6 and 11000 right uh, there was canada also right so why canada did not come because i think canada did not have if you see customer dimension right let's see customer dimension where does canada canada the customers are 6 and 7 okay 6 and 7 right so we need to go and see whether 6 and 7 had any web or customer service order or not right so how do we check 6 and 7 we need to go and check 6 and 7 in the order fact table do we have 6 and 7 in order fact table we don't have 7 in the order fact table right it's not there he, he, that customer never placed an order so it's not there now in the 6 uh, do we have yes 6 we have but look at the order type the order type is mobile right they ask for order type customer service and web right so that's why the canada people are not coming up because one of them did not place order and one of them did not have a channel like order type as as customer service and web right so that's why it's not coming so that's the correct answer right so that's how you know even though like you said like i said uh, you know uh, earlier uh, even though the, the question looks like little bit lengthy but once you structure it in your mind right i mean and once you put the steps what will come in select clause what will come in in count and uh, uh, you know uh, sum right group by right what are, what do you have to group by and what you need to group by right the country is what they are asking for you to group by and then uh, count of customer and item spend is what they are asking you to group by sum, summation of that that takes care of select clause overall select and group by clause right because by country and then count and 
then total amount spent so that takes care of your your country your uh, your group by clause and select clause in the filter clause what did they ask for winter clause they are asking for order type web and customer service right and then uh, in order to get to that filter clause uh, it's since it's another table we have to join the two tables right uh, so we join the two tables using customer id which is the basically column common column between the two tables right so if you did that if you went step by step select clause group by clause from clause join uh, what are we going to join on and, and what is the filter the query looked pretty easy right i mean it's, it's simple query so uh, uh, that's it for it today uh, guys you know i hope this you found very helpful right i mean if it is uh, the case then please subscribe to my channel and please like my videos uh, this question also that i covered had covered ha had covered like you know uh, uh, summation and count function right uh, which are aggregate functions concept then you have order type in which is a filter concept and then you have a inner join between uh, two tables and then group by clause right so basically we cover like you know two or three concepts so this is also very common uh, in in the first round of interview right uh, uh, usually they do ask either the aggregate function which is count sum and all or the windows function right which is rank and and things like that so so uh, you know these concepts are very important uh, even the first question where you are trying to join the two tables and finding the match between two tables is very common uh, right i mean 70 18% of time those these two kind of questions are definitely asked so uh, uh, just uh, just play around with the data i'll uh, like i mentioned before uh, i'll put a create table and insert table uh, 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 scripts in the comment section and then uh, you know you can uh, copy and then you know you can just run it on the postgres sql and then you should be able to run the queries that i i was showing so thank you guys uh, see you in the next video thanks